There it comes, right there. Whoa! <laughs>
Um, oh, look, there's more stuff here already. Uh, oh, let's get, let's get rid of this one first. And then I'll show you configuration. Okay, uh, this is, if you have a, a computer that's not crazy, this is kind of uh, world eating. <laughs> like, this will destroy your frames like crazy. So watch. <laughs> it's like the nuke. <laughs> It just does so much, so much damage, and it just like eats every frame you could possibly have in your computer. It's great. I mean, it's not too bad on my rig, thankfully, thanks to the, the patrons. <laughs> but uh, we did play around with this with some other, uh, like I had some other geeks with me, and apparently that destroyed their frame rate like really bad. So, uh, but honestly, the one I'm using right now is uh, Arcanus Field of Fire 2, and uh, I've built it up to be an Ascendant one. It does so much damage, it's ridiculous, and it's fast and takes barely any stamina. So it's definitely kind of the go-to here. Um, when we get to, like, the, the Queen and stuff, it'll be a little harder to do that. Uh, but that, you know, in here, that's totally fine to do that kind of stuff. Um, and we actually can go back. The way I was going is actually a way to just get straight across, but I knew there was another loot crate, so... Oh, perfect! An Ascended Stone Pick Blueprint! Fantastic! <laughs> Alright, so that bridge up there is actually where we want to go. Uh, I just know there's one more... There should be one more drop down here. Is it that bridge? I think it's that bridge. There's one more drop down here someplace. Yeah, because we want to go that way. Uh, that bridge over here. Just gotta get past this bear here. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there's one more drop right there. We want to go over to that guy. <laughs> the old teleport trick. Okay, let's get in here. Uh, not a crazy high level for that, but all right. All right, so uh, with this, I could teleport my way all the way up. Uh, it is kind of a pain in the butt, but oh, so you can see too, I am using five right now which is my teleport orb. Any place this orb goes, uh, wherever it lands, is where I'll teleport to. So you gotta be careful, because like right there, I threw it into a wall. That's not gonna help. <laughs> so I'll have to... Ugh. 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 So like right now, because I hurt myself, I've gotta use a little bit of that meditation again. You'll see it brings my health back up, so I can kinda live through things like that. Honestly, in this ice cave, I'm probably just gonna use the, the hooks to get me up a little higher. Oh food you're supposed to be filling up here buddy there it goes apparently I had to deplete out first which is a little weird but all right and then I actually have uh, I've got zero oops that's not where I meant to go I've got the meditate set up on both bars so I can be in either bar and be good to go but I've got some picks here um, I'm gonna go ahead and just take us down to the uh, I'm gonna take us down to the ice queen ish area and then we'll uh, we'll kind of come back with you guys and we'll show you some of the fun stuff this uh, this party of six mod can do. Oh, it's okay, goat. Don't worry about it. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay. So if you haven't seen this cave before, there's this creepy spot where it looks like someone was trying to like crawl out of this, and uh, it didn't go very well for this poor bear. You can see that it. Uh, Looks like it got torn in half, like here's the butt of the bear and here's the other half of it, so... Uh, oh, there's a claw. Oh, there's more than one. So, uh, we're in this giant cavern right now, uh, that looks like it's a, uh, like a... A giant death worm has essentially burrowed through here, and that is pretty much what happened. There is a whole bunch. You see the boss available. There's a whole bunch of death worms coming up here. Before we get to that, let's go ahead and fill our food back up. That is the one drawback of what we do here with this uh, this mod is that it eats your stamina alive. So we've uh, <laughs> we've bumped our stamina up quite a bit. So I'm at 300 stamina, uh, but that's what I've been leveling the most, uh, other than melee, because melee has a direct effect on all of our cool spells that we have here. Okay, we're gonna go firebomb here because we're gonna get to a point pretty soon where we're gonna get bombarded by uh, death worms. And it's important to have some uh, form of defense. And the fire, the fire field is something I can drop right in front of me, and just smoke everything that comes at me. So, oh, poor explorer, didn't make it out, huh, buddy? All right. So one of these ways, I think, has a deal in it, like right away. I don't see one. So we're gonna go. We're just gonna keep following down the main path here, guys. I've only done this once, so um, I don't know where everything's at. Which is fine. 
Um, I just know that I've kind of gone through here and at the end, oh, yep. We're gonna be able to kind of get down to a point where we're gonna find that uh, big old mean boss lady. Ooh. And then if you guys haven't played with this mod too, um, the loot that it drops has some cool effects. I think we're good for a second. So like right now I'm wearing a place, uh, some stuff called the Ascendant Plaint of Relentless. Uh, when you wear them with the Greaves, you can get damage resistant whenever you use lightning or fire abilities, which is why every once in a while you'll see, let's see if I can get one to proc, Relentless Scent Damage Reduction. It means that I take far less damage when that thing goes on, and you can see it has a ridiculous amount of armor already attached to it. So like it gives me a pretty good ability to survive a lot of things, even though I'm technically like the mage class. <laughs> okay, this is about the time we're gonna start worrying about some death worms, and <laughs> worry is probably the wrong word. If you guys have done this, like, in a regular game, you'll know how difficult these things can be. Uh, <laughs> they're nothing with this mod on. What's up? What's up, death worm? <laughs> so, like, it, it's literally like that. That's how it works. See a death worm coming? We just drop some fireballs on it. Let's see if we can find another one. I know you're all over the place down here, guys. What you got? Go up this way. I hear one. Whoop! <laughs> ah, sucker. <laughs> oh, man. This is some pretty cool stuff. Oh, I'm getting to the point I'm freezing, which goes away kind of on and off here. All right. So which way? And we got a windstorm right now, too, on Ragnarok. So which way do we go? Downward, I would think. Oh. Hey, hey, death worm. Where'd you go? Don't you? Don't you think about that? Come here. That's how you want to play? We we'll play this way. Where you at, buddy? Bam! Fiery death. <laughs> now you can see, though, my food is already gone again. So, gotta do a little meditation. I'm not sure which way we're gonna go, so I gotta check it out, guys, and I'll bring you back in just a second. Ah, uh, that waterfall is how we know we're in the right spot, guys. Uh, I, I just followed that through. The, the two little branches that I found were uh, places that you could get uh, some loot drops, so I grabbed those. Uh, but this is how we get to the next place. We're going to swim out into this water. We're going to see this beautiful waterfall set that these guys, the Ragnarok devs, have put in here. It is gorgeous. I almost wish I could live in here. It'd be a little noisy, but man, look at... Just check out these cool waterfalls. <laughs> Gorgeous. All right, so um, let's see. I actually have no idea. Um, I'm going to tell you. I have no idea how much this uh, Death Worm Ice Queen can do because I killed it almost instantly last time, so I expect that to kind of happen again. Um, I'm going to try to get a screenshot first, which is probably stupid, but we're going to try. So we'll just go down this uh, waterfall ice slide. This is the cavern where you fight the Ice Queen. Whoop. Okay, we're going to come out on top here. I'm a little worried I'm going to lose my shine horn, but it could definitely be worth it. So it's calculating how many of the Death Worms to bring us, and it's going to bring us just the one. There it comes, right there. Oh, okay. Let's see what we do here. <laughs> oh, it's hurting me. It's hurting me. And it's all gone. <laughs> uh, hilarious. I did almost die that time, which is uh, impressive. <laughs> this mod is so fun. All right. Um, oh, and to make sure I tell you guys too. We do have the, uh, like, we have it turned up higher than it normally is. Like, you can adjust how much melee affects it. And I wasn't sure how much damage it was going to do. So I set it to be, like, three times the effect of melee. Um, that's probably way more than it should be. <laughs> I'm actually feeling like maybe I need to turn the, uh, <laughs> I might need to turn up the, the level of dinos on the map now. Like, so they're higher than the 180 that they're set to. Uh, but, you know, we'll see. Maybe. Oh, so it looks apparently like when I'm meditating, I'm just drinking a lot. That explains it with the sound, too. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that was the easiest way to ever kill a Death Queen. Um, 
Let's access this inventory if we can't. Can I get up on you? Nope, go right through you. Okay, let's, uh... <laughs> I don't even know if we got a screenshot, by the way. Let's see if we can get one here. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> oh, it's too much fun. This mod is the best. Alright, let's go over here. Let's take a look. Look at this big old thing. <laughs> okay. What do you got on you? Anything? Can I see you? Do I have to chop you up or something? I might have to chop him up. Can I get in here? Oh, wow. Lots of stuff. Um, that might put me overweight. It did, I think. Okay. As much as those death worm horns would be nice. Oh, God. I don't need that either. Draw. Get rid of all that. We don't need poultry food anymore. Uh, we're just going to drop those. We don't actually need that at all. Dead queen. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, let me get out of here. We've spent some good silly times playing with this so you guys can kind of get in the feel for that mod. Let's get out of here and see about just getting some basics done for a raft. Um, I'm going to probably not show you everything in one episode because, you know, we've already spent some time doing this. But I want to kind of give you guys the basics of flying rafts, too, if you haven't ever played with that mod. <laughs> I'd be sorry, Miss, if I didn't show you this creepy, creepy chamber. Uh, <laughs> that's a Giga that's been knocked the F out. <laughs> <laughs> and it is still alive and it's just getting it's just waiting for these baby ice worm queens to hatch man like there's can I, if i shut this off can i see you guys better look at they're just ice worm queens man they're just waiting to feed on this giganto gigantic giga not a, you know what i'm saying the giga <laughs> oh. so yeah i'd be remiss if i didn't show you that that's probably one of the creepiest parts of this whole cavern uh and i might already have an artifact on me i don't remember Oh, it's taking it out already. Uh, so I actually did this uh, run with a couple of the geeks the other day. Um, and we actually did the uh, the lava cave one, too. Um, <laughs> Party of Six makes this pretty easy. It's going to make doing boss fights hilarious. I can't wait to try a boss fight now. So that's the basics, guys. You got to see the silly stuff of Party of Six here. Let's get back to base now. Uh, and we'll kind of take a look at what we're working on over there. Yeah. Hopefully it's not dark time style. So, daytime. Sweet. All right, so uh, this is, I literally just hodgepodge some stuff together. So don't look at this like it's going to stay this way. The tech platform is staying where it's going, where it's at now. That is going to be where that stuff's at. All of the crafting stuff that's just thrown down over here, and there's a bunch of it just all thrown down, that's going to be over there too. Um, this is our flying raft though. So um, flying raft is an amazing, awesome mod that... Um, has some really cool things in it let's go over to the station real quick so you can see how this works uh all right so over here is the flying raft crafting station is that what it's called yep flying raft crafting station inside you'll see things like structures right so the first thing you have to do is have a float stone forge okay uh these look just like regular forges but what they do is when you're actually uh cooking like metal inside them they will randomly drop not randomly about every hour they drop a float stone um, so you have to put the spark powder and metal in there and then cook a whole bunch. You need float stone because that's the building material for the actual raft itself. Uh, we probably want structures and rafts. So there's different sizes in here. Uh, see, this one only takes one float stone. That's about the size of a regular raft and uh, it's kind of slow. This is what we always make. It's the clipper. It's the closest in size to regular raft. It's a little bit bigger, uh, but it is the fastest you can possibly make. Um, and then each of these other ones is just larger. Like So the cog, the cutter the flying galleon and then finally the the merchantman the, mer the merchantman is like platform size like it's like the size of this platform it's gigantic so it's crazy you look silly on it uh but you can build a lot bigger obviously and then the other rafts you see here are like little flying saucers so this one says regular raft with a little metal platform under it and this is a much bigger one same idea uh they sound the, the mothership is the same size as the merchantman it's gigantic uh and they sound like flying saucers it's pretty funny so i've already done all that so i could build uh, our first test one over here uh, and then from there you have to put on things like this platform piece has to be uh on here the this is how you build on top of it and then these other things are actually different like costume pieces essentially so you make the decking look however you want uh, but the cool thing about this is if we look down at this you see there's an option uh to hide platform 
So now the platform is gone. Now, it does lead to a silly cheaty, cheaty bit that I can stand out here on top of nothing. <laughs> the platform is here still, but you can make it disappear. Uh, but this is, this is kind of the idea of what we're going to build with. Um, I'm going to... If you guys have watched my other videos, uh, when we kind of play with this stuff in the past, you'll know what the uh, the sand skiff looks like. And this is going to be pretty much a sand skiff built out of metal. Um, so each side will have kind of what looks like these these tread pieces almost and then it's going to be kind of a, a modified nest will go into the center of all that stuff so uh that's what we're going to work on i'm not going to show you guys that now because i need to get a whole bunch of materials i'm going to do metal i think this time um but i want to show you the flying rafts they are like this is the, like i said the clipper it is one of the fastest you can make uh you see there's kind of a little bit of a, a kick bag every once in a while but we can go full on full speed pretty much any place we want and then if we <laughs> we dive bomb down in here once we hit the water, it switches to being an actual regular raft. So now our regular raft. Now it is a really, really fast regular raft because it's the clipper. And then you just press space and off you go again. We're flying. Uh, and the other thing we can do too, let's hold X here. X is the stop, just like an air brake. You can also change, oh, oh, okay, strobe effect. You can change the view distance too. So if we do one, it's like driving a regular raft. You're right behind it, right? Or we could do what I was just doing now, which is five times view, which gets you a good kind of lay of the land. And then the last one he can do is ten times, which is crazy. <laughs> like if you if you were doing the merchant man or the flying saucer mothership, you'd have to do that to be able to see what's going on. Uh, for the most part, we're gonna stick in five times once it's built, but for now we'll just do one time view. Uh, but yeah, so you can see it's they're they're awesome. They're <laughs> the the world breaky, but man, is this server is made for that. This is our modded Ragnarok server. It's made for silly world breaky stuff. So we're gonna just do this. Oh, let me show you too. Almost forgot. Let me show you what I actually got from all those drops real quick. We'll grab this one too. You can press space again to land. Uh, it can be a little weird for how it decides to land, but can we? Can we get this? My is it because I'm too close? So you can back up as well and press space. Oh. Okay. Uh, hey. I'll press space twice. <laughs> Anything special in this? Uh, oh, those would be some boots. And a Megalostro saddle. Okay. Yeah, we don't need that. It's fine. So let's show you the other stuff I picked up while I was in there. Uh, you guys saw some of this stuff. But we got uh, a Caprosuchus saddle. We got a Mantis saddle. Uh, we got a Baryonyx saddle. We got a Stego blueprint. Uh, we got an Ascendant Packy saddle. We got some some underwater pants. We got oh, underwater pants. Holy crap. Scuba pants. <laughs> we got uh, armor level 15, armor level 35. That's pretty good. A, uh, wow, a pretty good uh, blueprint for a, a sniper rifle. And, of course, the best thing you could possibly get, a blueprint for an ascend Ascendant Wood Shield. <laughs> That's how you roll, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to call that episode. I just want to show you guys some of the silly mods we're playing with, get you guys an idea of what we're going to be working with i'm going to get this uh this raft built up so we have a mobile base of operations and honestly we're just going to try for silly stuff with the geeks on here uh i can't like i said we're going to try boss battles with no dinos it's going to be just us <laughs> as a as a party of dummies <laughs> trying out this magic mod so we're kind of just doing these cave runs to make sure they worked the way we thought they were uh and they do these mods will work for sure for that so if you guys have enjoyed the episode and the silly hilarity that we have what we can do on this server, feel free to drop a like below. You can always subscribe for more content, and I will catch you oh, on the flip side. <laughs> Bye, guys.